Schneider Library, which we call Information Services, is a perfect example of a 21st century information services and product organization. There's always challenges in your job. Right now I see the biggest challenge for us is resources and an overabundance of information that's out there. But it all has to be quality. So that doesn't change. It has to be timely, it has to have quality to it, and it has to represent uh, the work that we want to show to our clients. But the big challenge is the amount of resources and the number of tools that are also within our organization. You have to stay on top of it all. We have access to a lot of sources to do alerts, and what those are, are, are various articles and studies that we monitor. As they come in, once again, we'll, we'll go ahead and synthesize those to see if they're a good match with our customers. But even without them asking for that information, we're, we're offering a continuous feed of information to keep them informed without them having to come back and ask us. Um, we're also looking at ways of using tools like Handshake and Onomy and um, some other social networking tools to find out more about what it is that our MITRE customers want and also to use them as delivery means for products that we have already created and that are available for people to use. I use the, the Info Center basically to get me up to speed on different technologies. Um, it, and basically what I've seen in the past of how we've used the Info Center is uh, we find a topic area that we, that's a cutting edge area that we want to get more info around. Uh, they basically do a, a survey of what exists out in the space in terms of technologies, the companies doing the same work, and, and write it, what we call communiques, the short one or two pages that help us better understand and get a, a picture of the landscape uh, for, the, for the research, uh, specifically uh, around different collaborative technologies. I think the, the information analyst at MITRE needs to embrace and be open to delivering information on the new tools because it's the wave of the future. We get a very timely response to, to needs for researchers. We tell all our new researchers to go there and get a background check done on various technical topics that they're working. Very quick and efficient way to get up to speed on things. We also have over 58 different email uh, address lists that are sent out around in CASD. People use that information to, to keep up on current timely events. The second area is really in the technical depth of information. We have a tremendous amount of resources available through the MII. Uh, click away on your mouse. We've got uh, the IEEE, the AIAA, ATC Quarterly, Aviation Daily, and things like that that really help us stay current with events in the technical world. I work very closely with the information analysts in looking at legislative issues, trends and directions of technologies, as well as the, uh, the issues of the software tax software community of H&R Block and Intuit, and we're really trying to get a better understanding of what their landscape is, what is the competitive issues, what are the legislative issues surrounding uh, the e-file program at the IRS. The information analysts have been extremely helpful in preparing us for uh, uh, our reports and issues facing the IRS. I heard about the information services desk and the kind of services they could provide. But uh, my background is in, in contracts, government contracts specifically, and I really didn't think there'd be a whole lot of connection there. Stopped by just sort of an afterthought because I was working on a project involving some uh, procurement metrics and happened to uh, find Julie at the desk there. She uh, was very enthusiastic about the project that I gave to her, even though I was kind of fractured in how I uh, presented it to her. Uh, and I really didn't expect a whole lot back from her because, like I say, it's a very difficult and, and technically complex kind of a task. Uh, I was amazed when she came back to me within, within uh, 24 hours and had some information that was uh, really, uh, it, it helped dramatically in moving ahead and getting the project moving in the uh, direction we needed to go. As an information professional, I'm able to help um, employees find information more quickly than they would be able to on their own, um, just by knowing a lot of the resources um, pretty well. I can. Uh, generally know where to find things that they're looking for and then help them, help guide them um, in that process. And we have a lot of students on projects and I use the Info Center to help help the students get up to speed in a specific technology. They're not, they, they, they're not accustomed to doing a ton of research so we, we accelerate these projects by bringing the Info Center in, getting the students and professors up to speed in a specific area and, and really help them kick things off and, and get things going on the right track. 
Not only the information analysts uh, will be critical because they have an understanding of what we do at MITRE. So they're able to uh, proactively help us with our work as long as we get them involved in our projects early in the stage. But we also go back to the info desk. Uh, occasionally uh, we'll send special requests to them and they respond probably within 24 hours minimum on all the special requests that we do. And they're really on top of the various periodicals that are out in the marketplace right now to give us the insight in the directions, trends, adoption rates of technologies that we're facing at the IRS. Having a group of people who focus on digesting technical information and making it more widely available I think is something that most organizations probably need more of. Um, so having someone who's used to digging into the data, understanding it, creating a final product, and communicating to a wide group of um, different people um, is just a val valuable analyst role to have. And that's really one of the reasons why I like R502 support so so much. The idea of embedded support enables the R502 support to come up to speed on the projects that we're working on. It also lets me be a pretty much fully integrated team member, which I really appreciate on these jobs, so you have a sense of continuity of um, what people are doing, what steps are next, where the deliverable is going, and what the feedback on the deliverable was. Because I work with the people very closely, I can anticipate what their needs are, and I can add a lot of value to what I do. So it goes beyond just retrieving some, some articles or studies, but it's how these articles and studies and other documents can relate to one another, and how they, they can add impact to what my, my own people do for the sponsor. I've been able to become the expert on those resources and on those methods so that I can provide those to systems engineers here at MITRE. We've still been focusing on how to connect the right content to the right people when they need it. Now the future will be interesting. Everything is changing so rapidly and a lot of it, of course, is digital changes. Uh, that's why we have a very robust ebook collection. But it's more than just that. We now are looking at our information centers as more of collaboration areas where people can come, sit down, they can actually have ad hoc discussions or impromptu meetings. And yet, if they have any issues or questions, you've got a trained staff of information professionals in both Bedford and McLean there to help you. We will get to the research for you in a timely fashion. We will break down your questions so you can get the right information and um, help you solve that problem.